Hi everybody, good day to you. And welcome back. If this is your first time here, just welcome. This is a 2006 Infiniti M35. And uh, customer states oil change and while accelerating, car sounds like a machine gun. So uh, let's diagnose the uh, machine gun issue first and then we'll change the oil. 150,162 miles on the clock. Okay, it has no machine gun sound just yet. Let's check reverse, negative, forward, negative. Okay, let's go for a ride, see if we can hear it. Hmm, okay, during light to moderate acceleration, I do not hear a machine gun. Ooh, wicked brake vibration. All right, let's keep driving, see if we can hear it. I hear it. Uh, I heard it, it stopped when it turned off the AC. Sounded like it was right front area, perhaps an engine accessory, but I, I did hear it just now. Let's try to catch it again. Now the secret to this is, is don't let the car know that we're onto it, or it'll stop making the noise. sounded uh, like a typewriter or uh, something metallic, like a mechanical rhythmic noise. It doesn't sound like a compressor. I wonder. Let's go check the electric fans. I don't think it's an AC compressor sound. I, I don't think it's one of the accessory drives, just kind of based on what it, what I heard. Let's go, uh, let's bring it into the shop and uh, we'll let it run with the fans. Uh, we'll wait for it to come up to temp a little bit and see when the fans kick on. And uh, we will see if the sound is those electric fans. If we can't come up with anything, uh, letting it idle in the service stall, we'll shut her down and uh, gain some access to the fans and wiggle the blades around. Perhaps it's got a bad motor. There it is again. Okay, so I've heard the sound three times. I'm gonna try to capture that brake vibration on camera. Watch the steering wheel. Like, find a point of reference past it. Let's see if this thing vibrates. Watch this. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, into the service stall we go. I hear it again, popping into your voice. Hmm. Dang. Okay, so rumor has it there's a 3.5 liter V6 in here somewhere. Uh, I can't see what's going on because um, it's got some Lexus style covers on everything. Maybe this stuff's rattling. Hey, look at that. Let's get these guys out of here. No rattle here. 
Okay. So with these covers off, the only thing that I hear that has a similar frequency to that noise is that compressor right there, but that doesn't really sound too terrible to me. Um, I do hear these fans running, but I don't think those are making the noise. They appear to be pretty smooth. But we can hear this compressor being a little louder and getting a little there it is. It's very faint. But that might be our, our problem here. Alright, it's been about two minutes. I've got it throttled up to about a thousand RPMs. And we're just gonna let it stabilize right here for a little while to see if that noise shows up or gets any louder. So we wait. Alrighty, it's been about 10 minutes of this and I'm still not hearing any noises. I mean I do hear the compressor compressing, but nothing uh, abnormal. I don't think it's the fans. Let's lift this thing back up and uh, take a look on the bottom side. Maybe there's something loose, like an exhaust shield or something like that. Moving on up. Safety. I still hear the compressor down here, but it's, it does not sound abnormal. A lot of oil. I see a lot of oil that's dripped out. I don't know what this is from. Ah, I found the oil leak from a nasty valve cover leak. You see it way, way up there? Oh yeah, same thing on this side too. It's just running down the exhaust and burning off. It's a valve cover leak on this. Okay, both of them. Now there's one thing we're not thinking about and that's wind. It said light acceleration. Uh, I heard the noise at about 20 to 30 miles per hour. Ah. Maybe this thing is flopping around in the wind. That's loose. It's loose. That's loose. That one's definitely loose. That's loose. Loose. And look at here. These three are missing. Maybe this is it. Well, all right, so here's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna let this back down. I have to pull this cover off right here to uh, do the oil change service anyway. So uh, let's go back down. I'll pop this cover off and we'll make sure this cover is very secure when I put it back on. And uh, then we'll go drive it again and see if that uh, machine gun rattling noise goes away. Hello, Peter. Hello. Goodbye, Peter. Bye. Okay, going back up so we can go back down. Here, you guys hold the lever for me. There, you stay right there. What's up, buddy? How was your weekend? The people of the internet said hello to you like 700,000 times. Hello to the people of the internet. Yeah, they like you. They want you to make your own YouTube channel. I don't know how to do that. Okay. You can just hang out on mine until you make your own. Or we can make one together. All right. Let's idle this thing down and shut it off and uh, proceed with what we know we're going to do. There. Powering down. If I can reach. Pew. Back up again. All the way up. Until we almost hit the ceiling. Oh, that reminds me. I got some more lights I need to put in today. So we can see better. 
Safety. Okay, I think first order of business is gonna be to get this uh, plastic bit pulled down. Shouldn't be too hard because all the bolts are loose. And uh, I'll check for more possible rattles. And then we will secure this properly. And then recheck for noises. Pete, what do you think? Is that a good idea? Uh, yeah. Just say yes. Except you just do the screw right back. I didn't the throw it, gravity stole it from me. Yeah, if you would have tossed it onto the table, it would have came to a stop. In fact, I mean, missed the table completely. Most of them made it to the table, but some, some did not. For shame. Yes, Pete, I, I do have shame. I allowed gravity to win. Uh, all these screws are stripped. I wonder they're not tight. They're all stripped. That's awesome. Let's see. Customer request oil change. 47 volts later. Uh, there's one. There it is. Oh yeah, that's the one that stretched. There. All right, first order of business. This oil filter's coming with me. You know, one cool thing I like about these sideways filters is they don't get oil on me. Ooh, hot. And you know, I, I know what you're thinking. How do you work on cars if you don't like oil on you? And that's easy. You can like what you do or be good at what you do and still not like certain parts of it. Besides, every job has something that people don't like. Hey look, there's no oil in it. It's like not a lot at all. Let's capture what comes out and see. That was pretty low. Ooh, oh no. Yeah, we're we're not catching much oil out of this. Oh wow. Do, 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 do. There it is. Hey, that, that's the Halloween doo 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 doo. Oh. Yeah, it's like uh, it's April right now. Filters this. Uh, 85358. Okay. Check it out, dude. Look, we drained like two quarts of oil maybe out of this thing. Ooh. I put that on halfway through. There's like a quart in the bucket. Not even. It's like a half a quart in the little bucket. This thing had almost no oil in it. Wow. You did the last oil change. What happened? There's almost no oil yeah, in it. Yeah, there's like, it's like two or three quarts maybe. Tops, like two quarts. Did, I you, have no did you put the right amount of oil yeah, in it, Pete? Yeah, I always put the right amount of oil then, in it. Well, what happened to it? It's not leaking. Mm. Mm. All right. You know me, man. If you can't take me in my hoodlies, you won't like me in my doodly. Doodly doodly doos. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that didn't hurt. It was a piece of plastic. Get out of here. <laughs> Loud noises. All right, it's been a few moments here. And uh, what do we got in there? Half a quart? So we, we drained a quart of oil out of this. That is all. Oops. It's Pete's fault. Pete, you blew up the engine in this car, dude. You blew the engine up in this car. It came in with like no oil in it. And uh, you were the, how do you know you put the recommended amount in? Oh, you do what the computer tells you to do. You need to get unplugged, man. 
No. Don't don't do what the computers tell you to do. That's a bad idea. Wait, what? I said he's got to get a plug and you're tubing it. Yeah. Click. All right, so I think I can stop speculating about that little rattle noise and maybe put oil in this car since Pete messed it up. And then we'll see what it does on the test drive. All right, here, you guys back up some so I can put this cover back. Uh-oh, lubricated. There, that goes up there. Now watch, we gotta make these click or they're not tight. There we go. I'll just uh, repeat said procedure a few times. No. Yep. Let's see, I need to get a bolt in this inside area. How do I do that? Hmm. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. What else we got here? Huh. Bald tire. The list is growing. Another bald tire. Okay. Noted. Let us put oil in this and see what happens. Oh, my rod fell out. Not good. Let's put that back. There we go. Set the counter, even though I don't think this one's accurate. Pumping the oil. Well, that's nasty. Noted. Stop it right on five. Oh, 498. I didn't make it. That was the that was the remake. I thought, yeah, I thought that was the remake of the song. Yeah. I don't. I'm not gonna take your word for that because you don't even know who George Carlin was. Just saying. We need George Carlin right now. Like, what if George Carlin was the sole voice of reason that kept society from unraveling? All I can say is... Now, how am I supposed to know how much oil is in this? Look at this stupid dipstick. Look at that. It comes all the way up here. All right, we will stop the engine. After I pull this out so I don't break a timing chain and get fired. I did that once. You stick that on right there. We'll put that back real quick like... Okay, beginning engine starting sequence now. Powering down. Mm. 
zombie. Come on, go in your hole. I know you're lubricated. Get in there. Guys, I can't, I can't get it in. Because the tip is swollen. That's why. All I'm telling y'all, man, is my wife's on how to get away with murder and got down. Well, I told you to quit messing around, man. It's okay, baby. It's almost over. Five more seasons. Like, the fuck? Well, we have to let this sit for a while so the, drew, the uh, tube, tube drains out. We'll be right back. Okay, let me check this one more time. See, these uh, Nissan heads, the tube that runs down into the oil pan runs through the head and through the block. There's not actually like an external tube. And so any oil that's in the head that's still draining back is gonna run down the galley where this dipstick is supposed to ride and it coats everything in oil. But okay, look here, we got a reading right at the three quarter mark below the hatch mark. So uh, I'll count this one good. All right, let's go out and drive around some more and see if we cannot uh, hear that noise again. Stand by. Sick. Okay, so we've got an oil change sticker up here. Uh, last service was done at 145,000 miles. It, it wasn't actually Pete that did it. Let's see how many miles we have right now. 150,000, okay, so it was due at 145, so it is 5,000 miles past due. And if they made that a 5,000 mile sticker instead of a 3,000 mile sticker, so this could have been a 10,000 mile oil change. Uh, that would explain why there was no oil in it. Even if this were an 8,000 mile oil change, that's, uh, that's just way, way, way too long, especially on a old Nissan product. Anyway, let's go for a ride and see if that noise is here or there or somewhere or gone. I'm gonna find out today. Oh, honking for safety. Hmm. Well, we're not gonna go that way because that truck's gonna be around back. And uh, there was that tree limb that fell down the other day that's still there in the parking lot. So, we're just gonna go this way. All right, we're rolling along again uh, in similar conditions from when that uh, noise first presented itself. And we're listening. All right, not hearing it. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna do a few more trips around the block. If I do not hear any more noise, any more uh, typewriter slash machine gun noise, then I'm going to blame the very low and worn oil on, uh, on the engine noise. And uh, we will advise them appropriately and then go from there. I'm also gonna recommend those two tires. Uh, I recommend resealing the valve covers due to the leak, even though I think it's burning the oil rather than just leaking it all out. Or it could be both. Either way, I want to repair those oil leaks, put some tires on there, and uh, we're going to touch base on this uh, brake vibration that I feel and see if they would like to do anything about that. So who knows? Uh, anyway, headed back to the shop after a couple more times around this block, and then uh, I'll report back with you guys when I know what our customer wants to do. So, again, stand by. Oh, by the way, um, I'm on the fence whether I should tell Pete that he didn't put any oil in this car or not. So, <laughs> I don't know if I, should, uh, if I should end the joke or keep it running. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that down in comment land below. Okay, I have yet to hear any more typewriter slash machine gun noises out of this. 
so I'm gonna go report what I have found so far. I'm gonna give everyone all the info that they need to do their end of it, and we'll see what our customer wants to do about the defects that I have found uh, powering down. Stand by. Okay, so listen, I did show you guys this oil sticker that was up here. Do not call them or bother those people. They are not affiliated, I'm just saying. Last time you guys saw information on somebody else, you guys were calling them and emailing them. Don't, don't do that. Okay. Well. We're all done here. Our customers are on the way to come and fetch their automobile. And they are not going to perform any repairs that have been recommended. That includes the, uh, the bald tires up in the front. So uh, maybe they'll do it later. Uh, I do not know, but uh, I have completed my task of the day and that will be, uh, that'll be it for this uh, little infinity. Having said that, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it for you. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to communicate that to me effectively by tapping tap that thumbs up button. By the way, I don't usually do this, but I want to see uh, just uh, how the YouTube community reacts. But while you're down there tapping that like button, go ahead and if you have not done so, reach over and tap the little subscribe button too. I want to see if asking for subscribes actually generates extra subscribes. It's my little experiment. If you've already subscribed, uh, just disregard that request and uh, proceed about your day like normal. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. Again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, out of everything here, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of transmission. Powering down. Beep. That's you, bro. You should get one of these. <laughs> if you had him blue. Dude, you're funny looking driving this thing. It's great.